Upload. BBC Radio Wiltshire. Yes, it's time for Upload, where we celebrate your creativity. And at this time of year, as you're ringing your film and TV choices for Christmas in the listings magazines, is it inspiring you to create something for the small or big screen? If you do, why not share it with us on BBC Upload? We're keen to hear from anyone creating or making. And if we like your stuff, we'll let Wiltshire know about it right here every weekday evening after seven. Tonight, it's the turn of Dom Todd from Bradford-on-Avon, who uploaded his short film, Dust Echoes, which he produced with his brother. It depicts the devastating effects of isolation in a sparsely populated, post-apocalyptic world. Here's a bit of it, and if you're of a nervous disposition, be prepared for some loud noises in this chilling scene. So atmospheric, isn't it? Barely a word of dialogue, and yet you're desperate to know what happens, aren't you? Well, earlier I caught up with Dom Todd and asked him how long he'd been making films. About 10 years now. I remember first starting out making, actually, uh, short films with uh, my brother's Nokia brick phone. (laughs) And eight, seven years old, something like that. Ridiculous. So yeah, very I mean, young. What what attracted oh, yeah. you to making films? What was it that you know gave you that little excited spark? I remember going to the cinema. My first film was actually The Polar Express. Do you know? Oh that? yeah, Tom Hanks. It's the animation. Yeah, the Christmas am- animation. It's beautiful. I just remember completely being it's just overwhelming. That's the thing. And uh, Toy Story and stuff. Watching that and just completely as a child getting lost in imagination and even though the storylines were terrible (laughs) just having the experience of me and my brother just doing whatever improvising and just that's kind of what kickstarted me into this sort of thing and this piece that you uploaded to bbc upload is a million miles away from childhood (laughs) and childhood (laughs) films it's a tense taut atmospheric piece. Tell us a little bit about it so that um, we can have a a picture of it in our heads. Going through life and having difficulties and all that stuff explores the severe effects of isolation Hmm. on the human mind and how devastating ultimately uh, something like that can be. How did you come to to come up with the whole idea that the gas masks, the the lonely walk, the grainy imaging, how did all that come together? The main source of inspiration was probably uh, The Lighthouse, Robert Eggers. It was released last year as a black and white sort of uh, very creepy uh, horror type film as well about exploring the human psyche and going into insanity and exploring all that. I would highly recommend, if you liked this, you would definitely like The the Lighthouse as well. Tell us about the process of making uh, this piece, Don, because you star in it uh, and Mm -hmm. there's lots of special effects in it and smoke and, you know, chrome effects. It it looks a really complex piece to have put together. Uh, Was it complex? (laughs) That's the thing. Uh, That will kind of inspired me to put it on upload is it really was just me and my brother doing that that was the crew that was the cast that was everybody involved with it and uh, i really want to just push the narrative here that even if you feel like you're alone and if you feel like you don't have like the crew the equipment to do something like you see in the big budget films and stuff you can tell a story and i've seen plenty of people on uploads and pr- plenty of uh, creative people musicians being able to do this stuff and i just think that really you, you can tell a story without 
with our budget. Yeah, well, it's, it is impressive that you've created something so unique yeah. with so little. Oh, it's extraordinary. And it won an award, hasn't it? Yeah, it, it did win uh, my college principal's award for um, creative media production. You must have been thrilled. Oh, I was definitely thrilled with the Amazon gift card that I got. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next in the, in the pipeline? Do you know that yet? What's your next film going to be? I have got in mind a very festive film, a psychological thriller about detective finding clues about this long unsolved mystery but those clues also lead to his past being exposed that sounds like it's worth waiting for dom it's <laughs> been a real pleasure yeah. talking to you uh, just oh. before i leave oh. you where can people find your film dust echoes i have a youtube channel called dt productions there you go uh, and i really do recommend you look up his film dust echoes it's it's not very long. I think it's about seven or eight minutes, but it is a powerful, atmospheric, tense piece of work. Uh, and if you would like to look it up, just search for Dom Todd's film Dust Echoes on YouTube by looking for DT Productions, his initials DT and Productions. Dom also wanted to say thanks to his friend Leo, who inspired him and gave him the confidence to get something on BBC Upload. And I'm so glad he did. I'm going to thank Leo as well, because I thoroughly enjoyed watching Dom's film. Good luck, Dom. I sense a big future for you ahead. Uh, but if you would like to submit something creative uh, for Upload like Dom did, we'd love to hear from you. Always on the lookout for new creative stuff we can enjoy here on Upload. Every Every weekday evening after seven. So if you've got something to share, go to bbc.co.uk slash upload and we'll take a look. Upload BBC Radio Wiltshire.